when you watch that now, I mean, that was an incredibly courageous. I mean, people like David Walsh were doing it with you as well. But to ask him that question at that time. Miriam, I've heard you many times on prime time ask as e equally as difficult questions of your guests as the one that I did that. Your, that was your job. That was my job. The reason the sport is in the mess that it's in is because we don't have journalists actually doing their job. And if they did, my life as a professional cyclist would have been a lot easier. I actually don't accept it, it was courageous at all. That's not to say that when I was there in his home place, mm -hmm. surrounded by his fans, that it, I didn't feel a little unnerved by it. I most certainly did. I didn't enjoy him attacking me the way that he did. But that is my job. That is what we are paid yeah. to do. We are not paid as journalists to be popular. And, uh, and that's, you know, and, and, you know I don't, people ask all the time, well, has he apologised? I don't expect him to apologise. I as I say, it wasn't personal for me. It has, never, it has never been about him. It's been about my sport. He was the figurehead of doping in the sport at that time. He's out of it now. The story hasn't changed for me. It's just a different chapter. Are you still saying that you think the world of professional cycling is full of drugs or not? You'd have to be very naive to think that because Lance Armstrong retired, the problem is solved. The problem didn't start with him. It doesn't end with him. You know, it's still there. It still needs to be addressed. There have been, there are some very encouraging signs. I am encouraged by a lot of what I see. I'm also seriously discouraged by a lot of what I see. So for me, the fight goes on.